Here's how to get that film noir look that goes beyond just desaturating in Premiere Pro. Okay, so here are our clips. We've got one of a 1920 star woman smoking and another of a detective at his desk. So we'll start with the woman first. What I'm gonna do is put each effect on a new adjustment layer just so it's easier to follow visually. So our first adjustment layer will just be simply desaturating our image. So we'll come up here and slide our saturation right down to zero. So this is grayscale now. But you can see it still looks pretty flat. The film noir look we want has much deeper blacks. So we're gonna go and add a new adjustment layer and play around with our settings to get our look we want. So first thing, we need to bring up our scopes. I don't need these ones, I just need the waveform. Now you can see our blacks are lifted here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our blacks as close to zero as we can to give us that deep look. Bring up the highs a bit. You're kind of just playing around here to get a good overall look and feel. Let's play with our curves a bit. Get a bit of contrast out of that. Cool, and now we're gonna add another adjustment layer and we're gonna focus on our subject itself. So we're gonna put a mask around her face. Nice and big, and we're gonna feather it a lot. And so we wanna highlight this. We wanna bring this up a little bit so your eye is drawn to the subject's face. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate that adjustment layer and just invert it and almost do the opposite of what effects we applied. Pull those down, maybe even just throw on a really soft vignette. And that's looking pretty good. So here you can see our shot, and I'll move these adjustment layers so you can see each effect. Normal, grayscale, our effects. Right, so let's move on to the next one. I'll do this one just a little bit quicker now. So we're gonna duplicate just our desaturation layer, which, so now we're at grayscale. Gonna add another one. muck around with our settings to kind of really boost the contrast so there's big separation between the blacks and whites. Cool, and duplicate that. Now, because we have a light in this image, this is obviously going to be our source of where our light comes from. So we're actually going to put a mask around the light and the area it's lighting up. Give it a lot of feather. And that's the kind of area the, the light would cover. So now we can come in here, just pull it up and you're almost exaggerating what the light is doing in the shot, just a little bit. Bring these up. Cool, and now we're gonna just pretty much do the opposite. Pull these down. Yep, don't want to go too black. Nice and deep. Cool, and now if we play that through, normal, grayscale, contrast, and light. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more. Yeah.